Hunches and Bunches by Dr. Seuss, narrated by me. Do you ever sit and fidget when you don't know what to do? Everybody gets the fidgets, even me and even you. And today was quite an awful day for me and my poor pup. My trouble was I had a mind, but couldn't make it up. It's awfully, awfully awful when you can't make up your mind. Do you want to kick a football or sit there on your behind? Do you want to go out skating, fly a kite, or climb a tree? Do you want to eat a pizza, take a bath, or watch Grandpa Tom? Oh, you get so many hunches that you don't know ever quite. If the right hunch is a wrong hunch, then the wrong hunch might be right. There I was inside the house, so fuddled up I could shout. When I got a hunch, a happy hunch, that I shouldn't be in, but out. But before I could follow that happy hunch, a voice snapped, don't you dare. And a real tough hunch informed me, you're not going anywhere. There's homework to be done, bub, sit your pants down on that chair. And so I did, I sat me down, but as soon as I got sat, a better hunch came and he yanked me off the homework hunch's hat. The better hunch said, we'll head downtown, we'll pick up your good friend James, and together we'll trot to some real cool spot and we'll play a few video games. So of course that's what I started to do, but a sour hunch came to spoil it. Your bicycle's rusting up, he yapped. Get yourself out back and oil it. By now my mind was so mixed up I really didn't know if I wanted to go to the barber shop or to Boise, Idaho. Then a very odd hunch upset me when he asked me loud and clear, Do you think it might be helpful if you went to the bathroom, dear? Before I could even answer him, a new voice interrupted. That mind of yours, I heard him say, is frightfully guffluped. Your mind is murky mushy. Will you make it up or won't you? If you won't, you are a wonter. Do you understand or don't you? If you don't, you are a donter. You're a canter if you can't. I would really like to help you, but you're hopeless, so I shan't. Then a spookish hunch suggested, I go four ways all at once. But I didn't fall for that one. I'm not that dumb a dunce. I knew where I would end up if I tried a thing like that. Most likely on some dead-end road in West Jehossa Flat. I was much too smart for that four-way hunch, but the next thing that I knew, I was following a nowhere hunch, a real dumb thing to do. Everybody sometimes does it, even me and even you. I followed him in circles till we wore that rug right through. And then I heard an up hunch laugh. You are a stupid schlup. The way to go is not around. The way to go is up. That seemed to make a lot of sense. I even took my chair. I just knew I'd make my mind up if it had some high fresh air. But the up hunch I had followed was a phony and a fake. Way up top I met a down hunch, and he sighed, for goodness sake. You should never trust an up hunch. You have made a big mistake. Then things got really out of hand. Wild hunches in big bunches were scrapping all around me, throwing crunchy hunchy punches. And some super hunch was yelling, make your mind up, get it done. Only you can make your mind up. You're the one and only one. One of me could never do it, and quite suddenly I knew. To get a job like that done would take more of me, like two. And maybe even more of me, like three of me. Or four of me. It took an awful lot of me. It took a lot of yelling. It took a lot of shoving and hot bargaining and selling. We all talked the hunches over, up and down, through and through. 
We argued and we bargued. We decided what to do. And finally I followed a munch hunch, the best hunch of the bunch. I followed him into the kitchen and had six hot dogs for lunch. The End <laughs>